In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. In question eight, we're told a story about a boy named Liam who left his home at 7 a.m. He cycled at a constant speed of 20 kilometers until he reached point A, he then changed his speed, cycled at a constant speed for a further 12 kilometers. He reached point B and the graph shows all this. Okay, um, and what you need to be doing in the exam is, or in, in maths in general, in Leaving Cert, is you need to get to the point where that story I just read out, very boring, lo lots of lines, all the information is here. If you read this, um, I guess you need a little bit of the information. You should know at, from 7 to 8.30, they went from 0 to 20. That's what that information is saying. So from 7 to 8.30, in that hour and a half, they went from 0 to kilometers to 20. So they traveled 20 kilometers. Another piece of information there was the word constant speed. This is a straight line. It's not a curvy line. That means they just went the same speed. In one hour, they went... Uh, whatever, roughly whatever distance that is in two hours and three hours, like straight line was just a constant speed. A, di a different straight line, the straight line changed, means his speed increased, decreased, increased. So there's a lot of information on this line. They're gonna ask us some questions then. In part one, they asked us to use the graph to estimate the, uh, the distance Liam had cycled by eight o'clock. So that's what I was just saying there, was it? Um, between seven and eight. So you go to eight o'clock on the graph, they want to see this, they want to see a dotted line come up, there's already lines on the graph, um, and then they want to see it at this point go across. Let me, um, remember my drawing's not good enough to really show this, so uh, when I looked at the graph, I came across here, and I what I see is uh, about 13.5. Um, again, if you got 14 or 30, sorry, 13. Point, 0.5. That's what that was my rough guess at the what I see in the drawing. But remember, they're they're not really looking for your number. Um, although the examiner will have a number where they're okay if they're between twelve and fifteen, you'll get full marks. But what they're really looking for is your method, how you got the number. So what they're really looking for is some sort of dotted line like this. Show the examiner what you were thinking. I know that you don't need a dotted line because there's already a line on the page, but the examiner can't see that, can't see what you're thinking. This shows them what you're thinking. That's all we, we, we that's what we really need to do. And for part two, they ask us to find his speed um, kilometers per hour while he's traveling from A to B. Remember, this is A and this is B. So while they're going from there to there, what's the speed? Um, speed is the same as slope. I already touched on that a bit. The slope is the same as the speed, which is the same as differentiation. So you need to find out what the slope of this line is. Two ways to do it. You can find the point here. Um, what are these points? Uh, I think I wrote them down somewhere. No, uh, it was eight and a half. Eight and a half and 20, and this one's nine and 32. You could use those points and coordinate geometry and get the equation of a slope. There's a much easier way to do it, or maybe a better way to do it. Turn this into a triangle. Let me draw it out here. A triangle, how tall is this triangle? Remember, it's 20 and 32. So that's 12 high. 20 here and 32 here, the difference is 12. How, how wide is this uh, triangle? Distance from here to here, that's eight and a half and nine. So that's a, careful, if you wrote 30 minutes, um, your answer would be in minutes. And they asked for the answer to be in kilometers per hour. So if you wrote 30 here, you get a different number 
but you would have got the speed uh, kilometers per minute. So that's why I wrote 0 0.5 hours. Um, so to find the slope, it's just the rise over the run, the height over the base. So the, the slope, in this case, the speed, in this case, is equal to 12 divided by 0 0.5, which uh, do it on calculator is 24 kilometers per hour. Just be careful, uh, speed uh, minus and plus can look the same when you're using triangles. So going up is plus, going down is minus. This is a plus. So that's the answer to part two. Okay, for part three, um, they want us to continue drawing on this. They give us some pieces of information. So we need to turn that English into a drawing here. And they tell us that Liam stopped at B for 30 minutes. Um, so that means he didn't move, he didn't travel for, because remember, this is measuring how far he traveled. Um, so if he stayed, stayed still somewhere, he didn't travel anywhere for 30 minutes. At nine o'clock he was here, at 9.01 he was here, at 9.02 he was here. He stayed here for 30 minutes. That looks like this. That's what standing still looks like in a distance times time graph. He then cycled uh, the 32 kilometers back home at a constant speed for one hour. So it took him, was it two hours to get here? Um, and now he's gonna go home in one hour. He's gonna start here, and he's gonna travel all the way back home in one hour. This is, uh, where are we up to here? Half an hour after, was it nine o'clock? Yes, so he was at B at nine o'clock, so this is uh, at half nine, and then he traveled home in one hour. So 9.30, he got home at 10.30. Is that correct? They, he cycled home and it took him one hour. So from 9.30, he got home at 10.30. And he did constant, that just means one straight line. So that's the continuation of the graph they were looking for. Okay, on to part B. We're leaving cycling away and we're moving on to running here. Ellie takes up running and then the first week she runs, she runs six kilometers over a whole week. That's not just one run, six kilometers over the whole week. Um, she, each week she, she wants to run uh, 1.5 kilometers more. So the second week, instead of running six, she runs 7.5. They wanna continue this table on. So uh, every week she wants to run 1.5 more. 1.5 more than 7.5 gets us to nine. 1.5 more gets us to 10.5, 1.5 more gets us 12, and then 13.5. Um, yeah, that continues on this table. Now, they don't say anything about it yet, but you should hopefully be seeing a pattern here. This is a um, arithmetic, arithmetic uh, sequence. Starting point is six, and the common difference is 1.5. Okay, just that, that might help, for, it will help in it later in the question. Okay, part two. If Ellie continues uh, with this pattern, find the distance she would run in week 100. Two choices here. You could just stay going. Uh, actually, probably would only take two or three minutes uh, with a calculator going. Just, just keep pressing it. Uh, you might lose track, and you're, you probably will lose track. You might make a mistake. Uh, so you need a better way to do it. And that's where the arithmetic sequence comes in. We know about arithmetic uh, sequences um, from, our, from our tables, our maths tables here. So let's use the formula for that. Um, the term, the nth term, the first term, the second term, the hundredth term is equal to a, which means the first term, plus uh, n minus one times d. That's a formula, we're used to using it. It's in your formula book, you're given this formula. And we know lots of this. Uh, they're asking about t100. So, so n is 100. We know what a is, it's six. And again, we know what n is, it's 100. 100 minus one, 99. And we know what d is. d is the difference here, the common difference, 1.5. Put all this into a calculator, or, or you can do it yourself slowly. Uh, this come out to be 150 minus 1.5 is, uh, I guess, 148 and a half, plus uh, six is, well, let me just double check with my, my notes here. Yeah, uh, 154.5. Um, 
Yeah, so after 100 weeks, she'd be running 154.5 kilometers if she kept that up. Although part three asks, uh, you need an English answer here. Um, it asks, why can you not continue this indefinitely? Um, really, you just need to say some, a bit of English here uh, about why you can't. Um, I guess a couple of things you could do is maybe put in, remember indefinitely means forever. So a hundred weeks, a thousand weeks, a million weeks. You could go ahead and put in T, uh, let's see, a thousand, a million, T a million, and see what you get out as. And you're gonna get out, like, uh, whew, I'm not sure, one, one and a half, around one and a half million kilometers. Nobody has ever, ever run that much in a lifetime, let alone uh, one week. So certain things are impossible. Um, if you could, this pattern will eventually, you'll, you'll become the world record holder at some stage, probably after a few years. And not everybody's gonna become the world record holder. So it's impossible to continue this on. Any English like that, point out, say something about numbers getting too big. That's all the examiner wants to do. You, you can write anything you want in your own words once you say something about the numbers getting too big, really. Okay, let's move on to part four. Part four, now they start talking about arithmetic sequences. They use the term SN. Let's make a bit of room here. SN, I, I invented TN to help us in the question. But they've now put in SN. They tell us SN is the total distance run. Um, so remind you what S is, S is the sum. Instead of six, seven and a half, nine, S puts a plus between it. So SN is six plus 7.5 plus nine. S1 will be just six. S2 be these two added. S3, first three added and so on. So um, it'd be like if she had an app, she was tracking how much she ran. And um, it would tell us, oh look, in your whole life you've ran this much. That's what this number is gonna tell us. Uh, let's see, write SN in terms of N. How do we do that? You don't have to figure it out on your own. The answer is again in your formula book. There is a formula for SN. Uh, let me see, I have a up down here. It is N divided by two, multiplied into two A plus N minus one times D. That's a formula we, you, 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 we you do use it a lot, so you do need to remember it, but well, you don't need to remember it, it's in your book. So let's see, what do we have here? Uh, they wanted SN, so they, they're happy for N to stay as N. In terms of N, they say, so you can leave N alone. N just continues to be N. A though, they want you to replace A. They want you to point out that six. So two sixes are 12 plus, again, N can stay as it is. They want you to replace D. D is 1.5. And that's it, that's all they wanted you to do. You can't do any more. You're gonna leave N alone. But what we can do is, um, yeah, what they ask in part five. Using this answer, find out how many kilometers she has run after 10 weeks. So after 10 weeks, we're gonna add all these numbers together. Now, don't worry, if you weren't able to do this, you could still do this yourself. You could just continue this chart on to 10. So what's, that becomes um, 15, 16 and a half, and so on, just for a few more. We're already at six. And then if you added all those numbers together, you would get the right answer and you'd be fine. But it's a little easier, a little faster, I should say, to do this way. S, S10 is what they're looking for. S10 is equal to 10 divided by two. That's five. Multiplied by 12, 10 minus one is nine. Multiplied by 1.5. Put this into a calculator, uh, but it's nine times one and a half is uh, 13 and a half, plus 12 is uh, 25 and a half. All multiplied by five, I guess is 125 plus two and a half, 127. Quick edit to recheck my numbers. I had a mistake in my notes. Uh, but yeah, I was right. What I did in my head was right there. It's 127.5. Again, I think at least the marking scheme's not out yet. So um, that's the numbers I get. 
Okay, that's all for question, uh, what are we on? Question eight, if you have any follow-up questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.